Okay, in this video we're going to start looking at the basics of layers. So Photoshop is pretty much a program that relies on layers. And I think it's easiest to use the analogy of a stack of paper to uh, kind of get the, the general sense of things. So um, the bottom of the stack here is this background layer. Uh, it's locked. Notice when you bring in a photo to anything uh, or into Photoshop, um, you know, any kind of photo, it always locks the background image. So as soon as this loads up here, running a little slow today, uh, it's always going to be locked. And you know that's kind of to remind you that this is the original image. Now you can easily use the command or control J to duplicate it, and I highly suggest you do that and leave that background locked. So that way, whatever you do to layer one, you always can go back to the original layer that uh, the original image and you always have that to work with however we're not working on this guy as cute as he is we're going to work on this so what i have here is my background layer which is this image uh, in the valley of fire that i took and then i have a bunch of other layers here and they're different types of layers so this next layer up is an image but it also happens to have a very specific type of um of uh layer mask on it so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and you can see what i basically did is just had it fade in um, this layer also right here uses um, and we'll talk more about this later in the series but this is the uh, blending mode for the layer and i have it on soft light and so i have these uh, two gentlemen from the previous picture um, just kind of sitting in the sky here and then i added three different layers um, a hue, two hue saturation and levels. These are all uh, can be found right here, and these are adjustment layers. Uh, also, you can use um, this uh, this um, tab for the adjustments. But I tend to use the one that's right inside of layers. That way, I don't have to switch to another tab. Um, and you can add them this way. And so what I did is I adjusted the blues in that one. I adjusted the reds in that one and then the levels I adjusted to just give it a little more contrast overall and so those layers sit on top and they're layers that affect everything beneath it so notice if I shut these off if I were to change the blend mode back to normal right that's really what I have here is that I faded out using a layer mask I faded out much of this but then at the top here is the full image and so it blends well with the image beneath it um, oh uh, however it blends even more when I use soft light there we go and then these all adjust so anything beneath it meaning both layers so if there was any red in layer one uh, then this would have affected it but there isn't it's a black and white image um, and here this affects all the blues underneath and then this affects everything. So that's this idea is that the layers affect each other. Um, finally, we have the text layer. And so a text layer is just a layer of text that's on its own. Um, when you keep it like this and you don't um, uh, change it or convert it into a rasterized image, uh, you can still go back and edit, which is the beauty of text layers. And so um, we also have on the text layers some effects and so what I did is I just put a small little uh, drop shadow just to help it stand out uh, it's one of my pet peeves that when you add in text with a busy background like the red rock here is pretty busy with all the branches and or all these uh, um, uh, bushes and, and the rocks and everything um, that the text can kind of get lost so without it it's it's a little bit easier to read it when it has that little drop shadow and just helps separate it out. And that's really the basics of layers is just you build from the bottom up um, and you can start grouping them and doing all sorts of fun stuff, uh, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, just a tour of the bottom here. So FX, these are uh, like this drop shadow. This is where you add uh, to a layer and you can add these to almost any layer. However, it doesn't make sense to add some things um, to a layer because 
uh, a lot of them like bevel and emboss or stroke they work on the outer edge so if you have an image that's the whole size of your frame you're not really going to see the uh, effect but if you have text or a smaller image then you can use it uh, to good effect and there's lots of fun ones in here um, this is the layer mask button and this is important um, it's one of the most powerful tools in Photoshop to use as you can see uh, there's four of them in this uh, composition um, this is the adjustment layer so this is where you can add adjustment layers and there's a whole bunch of them we'll go through those um, this is where you add your grouping um, and so you can add folders group groups are basically just folders and you can drop uh, let's just drop all of these guys into my group and I can kind of group them all together and that way they can shut them off and on at the same time um, and that becomes very useful for more complex projects this is the add new or create new layer um, and the keyboard shortcut for that is control or command shift n for new um, and uh, i usually use the command shift n but you can also hit the button and then this is of course trash where you can just click and drag a layer down and drop it into the trash all right and that's kind of it um, yeah we'll go for we'll go for gold here uh, the fill layer is pretty interesting this is where you can kind of change how much it fills um, the opacity how visible it is or how transparent it is um, again the uh, blending modes you can change uh, blending modes and again blending modes are one of the more powerful uh, things along with layer masks uh, in Photoshop um, and then you have things right here um, so you have the lock that uh, the first one and this is where you can just lock all of the layers or the layer that you have selected uh, you also have this um, prevent auto nesting and going in and out of art for I don't use this a whole lot but it can be useful for some complex projects you can lock the position and you can lock image position um, generally unless you're really good at Photoshop and you're doing complex projects uh, you might not really use these or utilize these much um, but you will use the lock quite a bit to keep things once you get them in the right place and I think that's it um, yeah you can start to add this stuff up here um, these are filters that you can add in I don't mess around with these but we'll we'll make a video that uh, goes through them um, I don't usually use a whole lot of these uh, probably to my deficit but there we go that's our tour of the general idea of layers in Photoshop